In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium is a metal, and then oxygen and hydrogen, those are nonmetals, and they actually form a polyatomic ion. It's called hydroxide. In an ionic compound, the metal will transfer electrons to the polyatomic ion, the nonmetals here. So let's first write Mg. And Mg is in group 2 on the periodic table. It has a plus 2 charge. So we'll write plus 2, and then we need to put brackets around it to show it's an ion. When we look at the formula for MgOH2, the 2 means there's two OHs, two hydroxide polyatomic ions. So we'll put one on each side of the Mg. We'll put one over here, and then one right here. The hydroxide ion, OH, always has a negative charge. So we'll put the negative charge right next to it, and then we need to put brackets. We'll do the same thing to this OH. And we're done. That's the Lewis structure for MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide. Do note, though, that this is what we call a formula unit. Normally, when we have a solid of magnesium hydroxide, it's a bunch of formula units all together in a regularly repeating array. It's called a crystal. But this formula unit here, it's useful for us to understand how electrons are transferred and the general structure of MgOH2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.